everybody, welcome to a new episode of Chad's Trains and Things. You can see in front of you, I got a box. We're gonna do an unboxing. Most of you all have probably already seen videos and pictures of what's inside this box, but if you haven't, I'm gonna show it off. Let's see here, oh, oh, yeah, let's, okay, let's flip it around before I dump it out. There's a tag on the other side. Interesting. Is this, no? Okay, I see how she goes now. Okay. Let me grab you in my hand here so now I can see. It's the new Menards F Unit Santa Fe O scale engine. I made 200 of these, which you may not know. I got one, I think it was like 160 some dollars after tax and everything. And of course, you get the Menards rebate, which you can send in. A lot of people have sent, I had mine shipped to Menards to get and sit to my house and so yeah and it comes with a Lionel S controller for it all so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get this engine out put it on the tracks and we'll look over it and see what it looks like because there are only 200 of these this is a almost for beta testers on it see remote control train sounds two prop motors metal chassis I've not seen and heard of it so far. Looks like it's a decent engine, a really good engine for the price. Anyways, comes in your typical Menards type of wrap. Well, here, let's go see if we can get it out of this box here. One handed. It's always fun without dropping it. There you go. Kind of back up. Typical Menards plastic. It's got their cars and everything else comes in. I'll show you the top of their package here if you want to read it. Okay, I'm gonna check the video here. I'm gonna open it up and get it out on the track and we'll go to a close inspection of it and see how she runs. Be back in a second. Okay, we are back. I'm gonna scoot this over better than light so I can look. It's kind of going around looking. Give you all kind of a dent here in it, like something's kind of nicked it up. A lot of scuffing on the top few minor like here like I said this is beta this ain't like a finished project they're gonna sell they only did 200 of them but they want feedback so kind of doing a close inspection of stuff just showing and I'm gonna send back my honest feedback in an email as soon as I'm done with this video but yeah good couplers overall though I mean, finer little, you know, production type, quality control type stuff. Which, you know, I'm sure, hopefully they'll do a little better on. I mean, I'm not expecting great. I mean, this is not an expensive Lionel or MTH engine or anything. It's a, it's like I said, I paid, I think, $160 after tax, something like that, $150 something. But, yeah, first impressions... It looks good. It looks really good. It's a few minor, like I said, little scuffs and stuff like that, which could have to do with being that eggshell plastic too. The first issue I came upon, I'll show this. Here's the controller. Looks a lot like Lionel. I don't have the back on right now. Here's the battery cover with the dog. But you got, of course, turn, oh, get over here, forward, reverse, like bell, talk, horn, on, off switch. And you can actually control the volume, with, which is a lot better than Lionel. Like that, instead of button combos, the issue I had and a lot of other people have had, and it's flashing, I got working. Put the batteries in, they don't work. You actually have to, where the positive side goes, bend them out a little bit so they make contact. They don't make good contact. So that's why I left the back off for now, just so I could show that and see what I was talking about. Otherwise, it's, here, this is our controller. Here's the Lionel Universal. So you can see kind of a comparison between the controllers. Like I said, the advantage that Miss Menard has to me is the fact you can turn the volume and the sound up with the, right here. And there is an on-off button on the bottom for the sound on it too. But overall, so far with the looks and everything, I give it a nine and a half out of ten for what I bought here. 
minor little things. Anyways, hope no one loses a screw. I'm gonna get the back put on, and get the layout fired up, and we'll see how she runs. So I'll be back here in a second. Okay, power's on. You can hear her running. Let me turn it up a little bit, maybe. Nice engine sound to it. I do like the engine sound. There's your bell. Back up a little bit. There's your horn. The horn leaves a lot to be required <laughs> to like. That's all you got the short one. I'd really like to see a longer bell. Or maybe a little bit different of a sound on the bell. I just, I don't know. That leaves a little bit to be desired on the bell. One needs to be longer, so you can hold it longer, not just the short. Then let's go. Dispatcher, 3945 East is ready to proceed. Here's some crew talk. Dispatch, I see the signal has gone from red to green. We are moving. Check, the signal is green. Kind of lunges forward, you don't have... It just wants to take off and just stops. Come back, 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 and there it goes. It just goes. It don't have very good slow speed control, but besides that, it seems to be running pretty good. So, yeah, I just stopped it. See, I'm gonna, I got the Hogwarts Express train set back there. I'm gonna hook them cars up real quick and let it pull them and see how it does. So we'll be right back. Okay, I got the Hogwarts Express hooked up to it, yeah. Santa Fe pulling Hogwarts Express, ain't that wonderful? Got the Dementor car going off right now, so we'll give it a second to finish what it's doing. So it drives us all crazy. Okay, it's done. Let's see how she acts pulling it. Moving from track five to track one. Track one lap is... Yeah, the horn, like I said, it just goes from stopped to flying. There's no easy pickup in it. I'll show you where I'm at though, speed-wise. Not very far into it, and it's pulling a lot of ease. So, speed it up a little bit. Good, nice hit light. It's running smooth. It's a really nice running engine. I will say that about it. I do like the crew talk. The crew talk is excellent. Yeah, the horn. They can improve the horn and keep it at the low price. They want to be as a engine. Otherwise, you know what? I like this engine. I will buy more of their engines if they bring out. They just improve a few little things here and there on it all. These are a great low-scale engine to me to be buying without breaking the bank. So, 
Yeah. Let me tell you now, overall, final thoughts on it. Let's shut some sound off here to the track. Final thoughts on it all. I'd buy more of these. There's a few things they need to work on for going to full production, mainly the, the horn to me, the starting and stopping, and just quality control for some of the like scuffs and stuff on top, which probably plastic. They probably need to put something on top of the engines and on the side to help protect from the plastic from rubbing and smearing stuff. But overall, I'd probably give this an eight out of 10 because of the few issues I've stated with the controller and the engine itself or whatever. But for 159, I don't know if that'd be, but even for $200, I'd have bought this engine for $200. I'd probably bought this engine for 250 without thinking twice about it. And I don't think it'd be 250. I think it'd be anywhere between 150 and 200, depending on where they go. And the 150 could be the price of them too. We don't know, but yeah, I would buy. I hope they do. I hope they bring out some different roads, some different type of engines. Would love to see them bring a steam engine out at a really affordable price. That'd be awesome. So yeah. Anyways, that's all I got for today. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and comment down below. Really, seriously, comment. I'd like to hear what you all think about this new Menards engine. Like I said, they only put 200 of these out. We're like beta testers. The us who got it. I'm gonna take care of this video, and I'm gonna email them back my thoughts and concerns on it all. But, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Chad's Trains and Things. Bye for now.